Guys, today's video is about buying a home in 2021. By the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to get in the market for the first time and eight simple steps to buy in 2021. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below to support the little guys. Step number one, decide it's time to buy. The reality is buying your first home isn't easy. I know this firsthand as it took me 18 months to buy my first home. Once you take the leap of home ownership, all the difficulties and challenges that have overcome you make the joys of home ownership all that more rewarding. There's no denying the ability to build up equity in the property as well as the security of owning your home. And that's really where the first step is to just decide if it's better to buy or to wait or live with mum and dad or keep renting. Like anything, there are pros and cons to each. There isn't a right or wrong answer here. It'll ultimately come down to your own personal preference. And we've said it here before, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So any plan to purchase should be weighed up with your long-term plans. This is a key part to the first step. If you find yourself living in an area where prices are too high, but want to stay where you live, there are options such as rent vesting, essentially allowing you to have your cake and eating too. You can live where you want to live and buy where you can afford, giving you the best of both worlds. Step number two, get your loan eligibility from Hunter Galloway. Once upon a time, pre-approvals were the gold standard in determining your eligibility if you qualify for a loan. I'd recently had Mel and Bruce come to me in a bit of a pickle. You see, they were first home buyers and had entered into a contract of sale to purchase their dream home. They'd gone to the bank prior and got pre-approved. When they entered the contract, they went back to their bank to get the loan unconditionally approved. Unfortunately, their application was declined due to their spending habits. We see this all too often. Banks give borrowers confidence that they qualify for a pre-approval, but the pre-approval really isn't worth the paper it's written on. In the last 18 months, we've seen this troubling trend more and more. Banks are reducing the amount of time they're spending assessing pre-approvals. Many banks and brokers are quick to offer pre-approvals as a way of testing if you qualify for a loan. The problem with this is that the banks tend to provide unreliable pre-approvals, opting for a system says yes approach where no information is verified or checked until you've purchased the home that you love. In many cases, the information provided to the bank doesn't even get assessed by the credit department, which is a huge risk. For example, if your income hasn't been properly verified by the bank, then your borrowing ability might actually nowhere be near where you're wanting to achieve. Even if the pre-approval is properly verified by the bank's credit department, there are still issues that arise when you found the right property, such as the bank might not accept the property due to its postcode or even being on a blacklist, or even having the mortgage insurer decline your application due to risk ratings on the valuation report. A pre-approval does not guarantee you're gonna get your loan approved by the bank. We find that the lending market is consistently changing and the best options in the market today might not necessarily be the best options in the market tomorrow. So when getting a pre-approval, you might lock yourself in with a lender that's competitive today, however, might not be so competitive tomorrow once you find the right property. At Hunter Galloway, we've developed a loan eligibility assessment based on an independent five point check to test home buyers eligibility and ensure success when purchasing. This loan eligibility effectively replaces the pre-approval and helps you make offers on properties with confidence. Getting an eligibility from Hunter Galloway involves an assessment of your financial position and will provide you confidence on your potential for a loan. As first homeowners, you need to be prepared to provide things like payslips, bank statements, etc. And the good news is there's not going to be any credit checks or marks left on your credit file. The assessment is fully verified by Hunter Galloway's experienced credit team, so it gives you confidence and maximizes your chances of getting your home loan approved first time. Remember to hit that subscribe button to support the little guys. And with that in mind, let's move on to the next stage, which is finding the right home. So step number three is getting the right house. Now you've got your loan eligibility through Hunter Galloway, you can start to think ahead and plan your purchase. To start with, create a list of all the essential features that are important to you to have in a property. This will keep you focused on properties that meet your requirements rather than getting sidetracked on properties that might not quite meet the brief. We've developed a checklist to help flesh this out. You can grab a copy on huntergalloway.com.au forward slash resources 
and download the house hunting checklist. Purchasing your first home is an extremely emotional purchase, so it's wise to ask yourself a few questions before you get head over heels over the property. Questions such as, how long do you plan to stay in the property? Now remember, your first home is unlikely to be your forever home, so view it as a step towards your financial goals in the future. Another question to ask yourself is, can you afford the repairs and upkeep on the property? Have you budgeted for ongoing maintenance and repairs? Will it need a new kitchen or a bathroom in the short term? Another question you ask yourself is, who will buy this property from you in the future? Start with the end in mind here. Think, who will buy this property from you down the track? For example, if you're looking at a property such as a studio apartment, then you're gonna have a narrow market in the future that you might only be able to sell it to single people or young couples. This will affect or potentially harm the growth of the property in the future. So things to think about prior to getting head over heels on the property. Step number four is research your potential home. You found the right home, the next step is to carry out market research to identify the potential value of the property and to get a better understanding of potential risks and pitfalls. RP Data is a quintessential tool for first home buyers and RP Data provides data on recent sales as well as giving a market appraisal on what the property might be worth. This is a tool that real estate agents use to help appraise properties. At Hunter Galloway, we provide these reports for our clients for free through our subscription to RP Data CoreLogic. Another online tool that gives you an idea of livability, transportability and parks is called WalkScore. It's a pretty cool free online tool and definitely worth a check out. Step number five is complete the inspection. Now you've completed your online research, the next step is to complete a physical inspection of the property. It's amazing how the property might appear online and then when you actually visit the property, it's nothing like you'd expected. I remember when I used to go through open homes, I'd be in and out of the property in five minutes. This was a huge problem as I ended up making offers on properties that I liked, but they'd ultimately fall over due to building a pest. These problems were glaring, but I hadn't picked it up when I went in and out of the property so quickly. It wasn't until I developed a checklist to help me check for things that were both important to me, as well as important to making sure that the property wasn't gonna have problems in the future. And that's where the property inspection checklist comes from and it's quite handy. You can download a copy through our website, huntergalloway.com.au forward slash resources and definitely something to bring along to open homes and inspections and you can tick it off as you go. Step number six, make an offer. This is where the magic happens. The good news is making an offer is easy and most real estate agents have what's known as a one page document, expression of interest, and you can request a copy from the real estate agent prior to making an offer. You can also email the agent you're writing. It's important to ensure all offers are made in writing and avoid any verbal offers. Making an offer on a property is an easy process. The offer should include the purchasing entity, so for example, your full name, including any middle names. The purchase price, there'll be an initial deposit and a balance of deposit. There'll be terms for things like finance, building a pest and settlement, as well as your lawyer details, solicitor or settlement agent. Once the offer has been accepted, the contract will be drawn up. Now it's a good idea at this stage, once you've got the full contract, to go through it with your lawyer or solicitor to make sure everything's accurate and there's no unfavorable terms. From there, you'll get in touch with your mortgage broker to get your loan approval started. Step number seven, sign your loan contracts. Now you've executed the contract to sell, your mortgage broker is gonna arrange valuations on the property and look to formalize the loan approval of your loan application. Once your loan's approved, the bank will issue loan contracts to sign. Your broker and solicitor will work together during this process to ensure the settlement goes through smoothly and effortlessly. Step number eight, move into your home. Woohoo, it's time to celebrate and arrange the movers because now you're gonna pick up the keys and the settlement's gonna happen. And that's it. What's preventing you from qualifying for a home loan? Here at Hunter Galloway, we get home loans approved. So if you live in Australia and you're looking for a mortgage broker, we can help. Visit us online at huntergalloway.com.au or call us on 1300 088 065 and we'll see you next time.